I got it. What is going on, y'all? Carlito here, back with another video on your screen. Live, San Antonio, Texas. Here with my boy, Nick Newman Boy Promotions, Australia. You know, home, uh, undisputed champ. You know, um, Gambosis, always doing big things out there, bro. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for your country. You know, uh, yeah. Australia, you know, Tim getting his U.S. debut live versus Terrell. Yeah. Weekend, PBC boxing. Can't wait. You know, how are you feeling, bro? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really, really good, bro. I'm uh, really excited for this uh, Sunday afternoon slash lunchtime in Australia. Um, Tim Zhu makes his long-awaited, anticipated USA debut. Um, I think it's really, really great for boxing in the country. Um, coming off the back of of George Cambosis doing his thing, and uh, yeah, it's really, really exciting for for all the Australians that we have an Australian fighter that that's on Showtime, as you just said, Showtime, PBC Boxing, ain't no time like Showtime, and uh, yeah, this is really, really big. This is a good test for Tim Zhu, and uh, really looking forward to it. That's good, bro. I watched the live press conference yesterday and um, I can I can see like it's not really like electric electric that I thought it would be, but I do feel like the vibe and I do feel like, um, you know, he has a lot to prove, you know, coming out of Australia. Also, you know, showcasing his talent for the first time, what George already did, you know, number. Yeah, of exactly. Very good point. And it was funny today, you know what I mean? Like what, what Tim's doing right now, George did four years ago. And four years ago, George made this way over. And Tim's just doing it on a, on a different, when his time's a little bit different. Do you know what I mean? And uh, no, no, I'm really, really excited for him. You know what I mean? It's, I always say this about Tim Zhu is Tim Zhu, when he was born, didn't ask to be called Tim Zhu, the son of a two-time former world champion who was undisputed. He was one of the greatest fighters to ever live in that weight division. So, look, it, there's a lot of pressure on him. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've always been a little bit a little bit critical of that sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I, I have very high expectations on Tim Zhu because I see a lot of the media and a lot of the hype, especially here in Australia, are a little bit over the top with him. And I don't like it. And I don't even think Tim Zhu likes it. And some of his... Uh, in a circle and some of his people that promote him and that and that they get a little bit pumped up on on this and that where I think Tim Tim Sue sort of knows where he's at in his career and uh, it's it, it's anticipated um, but yeah like I said before he didn't ask to be called Tim Zoo. I don't even think I, I think he wants to be known as you know Tim I'm Tim and then you know like he said after he beat Jeff Horn I'm Tim Zoo, not the son of Costa Zoo. you know what I mean so He's very, very um, ambitious. He's very, very driven in his own way. Yeah. Um, and he's very different to his father. There's a lot of similarities about him and his father, but also there's a lot of um, things that are very, very different. For sure. So what's your take? You know, um, what's the hype looking like in Australia, coming out of Australia, you know, right off? You know, basically, I know y'all are still on a high, you know, from Gambosis. You know, show yeah. and, and all the hype coming up from his his next coming fights, you know, the rumors and all that stuff. How is, you know, Zoo, you know, being able to stay motivated, you feel? Yeah, I think look, last November, November the 27th definitely changed boxing again in this country for a long time with what George did. And, you know, we headed into Christmas. Uh, you know, extremely extremely pumped. Remember Tim Zhu fought last year. Sorry. Yeah. Tim, Tim Zhu fought last year against Inouye. Um, uh, when was that? That was in December. So Tim Zhu actually fought last December against Inouye. So there was a bit of a roller coaster off there. And you've got to remember too, Carlito, there was a lot of talk around Jamal and Tristano and what they were going to potentially do in February and March. And then that got held back. And then Tim Zhu put his... Uh, you know, he put his hat up to fight Charlo if need be, but we all knew that wasn't going to happen because we know that that the, that the rematch was going to happen between obviously those two between Castano and Charlo. 
So then obviously, you know, it got to the stage, you know, around about February that they, they got this fight sort of with Terrell Gachet, which is a great stepping stone fight. A guy that's a two-time, you know, he's two-time he's fought for the world championships, you know, he come up short against Lara and he come up short against, uh, sorry, come up short against, um, geez, was, he came up short against Erickson Lubin and he come up short against Austin Trout and he's obviously fought Lara as well. So, this is a guy, you know, he's represented your country in the Olympics in 2012. He's a very, very accomplished boxer. And as Ray Flores said today on BBC, he hasn't seen Tim Zhu in with, with a guy like this yet. You know what I mean? Like, Zhu's been in with some good fighters. Um, this guy's probably a little bit better than good. And uh, it's, it's going to be really good to see what happens on Saturday night. For sure. What is, what is you know, your outlook on this fight? How do you feel like it's going to go? You know, you being a me, fan. I, I, I think it's going to be a close fight. And I think it's one of those fights where I think Tim will really, really uh, apply a lot of pressure to, to, to Terrell Deshaies early in the fight. I feel um, I feel he's got to be careful of Deshaies as well because Deshaies is the sort of guy that if you get too close to him, he's very stylistically, he can pop off, which he's got explosive power when he wants to. And we saw that when he fought... Um, Jamonte Clark in his last fight, he knocked him out of Mohegan Sun last year in the second round. Who was a bigger guy? He was a bigger guy than than um, Terrell Gachet, and he knocked him out. He actually finished him. So my my, my take on it is Tim's got to box really really well early. He's got to be very very careful. Tim will calculate a bit of data, I think, early in the fight. Um, I see it being a close fight. Um, I see Tim Zhu in the latter stages of the fight. We're gonna we're gonna see how good he is, you know what I mean? Because I think Terrell Gachet will get through the first five or six rounds with him, and then I think this fight will be played in two parts: the first six rounds, obviously, the, the the last six rounds. And I think either guy can win, you know what I mean? I'm hoping Zoo wins. Really, I think it'll be fantastic for boxing in this country, and hopefully, he can get closer to that world championship title fight that he wants. Um, but I think Zoo has to be very very smart in order to win that in the later rounds. For sure. And he's younger too, you know, I mean, he's seven years younger. He's seven years younger. Um, you know, I mean, like they, they, he talks about being the soul taker. And I haven't seen a lot of power in Tim Zhu's punches, to be honest. I see accuracy. I see very flash boxing, very good pose. He can back, he can bounce really, really well by transferring his weight. Um, he applies a lot of pressure without making out that he's actually applying pressure. He's very, very calculated. But uh, Terrell Gachet, and I'll say this to Ray today, stylistically, the guy's never been knocked down. He's never been knocked out. Yep. So Tim zoo has got the chance to do this for the first time ever. You know what I mean? The first person to ever knock Terrell Gachet out. And, and I, think we, 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 I think we will see that on Saturday night late in the fight. But... You know, I mean, I've got to be honest, you know, I mean, you've got to give some love to my American comrades. Terrell Gachet, who knows, he might be the better boxer in the earlier rounds and and then he might just sit on a punch and Zoo might face adversity for the first time in his career. So it, 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 it'll be interesting to see how the fight plays out. But I think it'll be played in two parts. A lot, a lot of pressure from Zoo early in the early fights, in the early rounds. And if Gachet can get through that, I think Gachet will work into the fight. And then once Gachet works into the fight, I think that'll be a disadvantage to Tim because I think Gachet will be better seasoned for rounds eight through 12. For sure. And what do you think about the whole, um, you know, rumors about fighting Charlo, you know, 154, you know, whoever wins, do you feel like that fight will happen or that's, that's just like a dream, you know, to both of them? I think. I think if you ask everyone in Australia, you know, I mean, a lot of the Australian media and that mainstream media, and they get very pumped up on Tim Zhu's ready to fight uh, Charlo and Castano. Now, we're going to find that out on Saturday night. So we can't have an opinion on that because he hasn't been in with a Lara, a Hurd, uh, a Lubin, an Arias. Uh, he hasn't been in with a Gachet, Tony Harrison, a Garcia. Um, a Fundora, he hasn't been in with any of these guys yet. So anyone who knows anything about boxing, you can't have that opinion on whether he's ready for Charlo or Castano. 
we're going to find that on Saturday night and, and then we can have our opinions on it. I think it's a great fight if Zoo can get the Castano or the Charlo winner, but I just don't think it's going to be that easy. And I think we've said this before. I think Charlo and Castano, the winner out of that, that goes undisputed and goes unified, I think Jamal will even move up to 160. I think if Castano wins it, he will. I think Tim's banking on if Castano can win, he's got more chance of getting the Castano fight. That's just to be honest, all right? If Jamal wins, I think it's very hard for Zoo to get that fight. I really do. Um, His alliances will lie very heavy with Showtime and PBC. But I think there's other great fights. If If Jamal wins... I don't think Zoo will get the, the Jamal Charlo fight in September. That's just my opinion. But there's other great fights for Tim Zoo to have on PBC and Showtime over the course of the next probably 12, 18 months. Danny Garcia is another one, Carlito, that we we haven't mentioned. Lubin's another one, the winner out of Lubin and Fundora. Tony Harrison is coming back against Sergio Garcia, which is going to be an absolute cracking fight. That's the co-main event yeah. to... Um, to Lubin and Fundora, you know what I mean? And there's Arias, there's so many different, Lara, you know, could make a comeback at 154 as well. So there's so many other guys that that I'd like to see Tim in with. But yeah, if he can get the Castano fight, why not? Him and his team reckon they're ready for a world title. But look, you can't go off having these domestic fights in Australia and and fighting, you know, Takeshi in a way after he's been out for 18 months. who I didn't really think was a very, excuse me, I didn't think he was a very good bo- a very good boxer. But, um, you know, Tim Zhu still beat him, you know, probably 10 rounds to two and, and did what he had to do. And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, he got a green tick on that box, wreck, and he moves forward. So it'll be interesting. For sure. And that was a, you know, no disrespect to, you know, Castaño, bro. Like, I didn't say him. You know, I'm always team Charlo. Same yeah. here. You know, the twins, bro, like the Charlo twins, you know, they're always putting on for Texas. But Castaño, bro, like if it comes down to it and Castaño gets the upper hand, you know, you know, like what everyone says, boxing is is a one hit. You know, that's all it takes. And um, I'm always looking forward. I'm looking forward to this coming year, looking forward to this fight on Saturday night, live in Indianapolis. Um. It's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be real crazy. Hey, so how how are you gonna watch it? You gonna buy it? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, Showtime. Showtime. Oh, but I'm not asking. How much is it US dollars? I want to say it's like sixty four or so. Sixty four. Really? Yeah. 64. Wow. I haven't I haven't checked recently though. But the last time I last time I was looking at pay per view and stuff like that, it was like sixty four. 99 or something something like that if you can bro when you when you find that out send me a screenshot and send it to me on my ig and uh yeah i'll be because i was either i thought they would have maybe gone for 55 around that mark you know what i mean but that's that's interesting yeah for sure you know to close this interview out you know let my subscribers know you know where they can find you at you know and you're always putting up for australia bro like i always respect you you know always much oh thanks bro So Noon and Boy Promotions, so that's N-U-N-A-N-B-O-Y underscore promotions on Instagram and Facebook. We've also got a Twitter account. You can also find us with the, you know, with the Fight Hype. The Fight Hype is obviously worldwide. We have seven correspondents around the world that, that do their thing for Fight Hype. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big day on Sunday. All the way, are we going out tonight? I'ma chug the bottle, chug it all the way Made it this far